previously on Transformers Prime. It appears the ship now possesses a will of its own. It also seems to be doing a better job of decoding the Project Iacon database than we were. I gain control of this vessel by any means necessary. This could be our only chance to slip aboard and download the Iacon database. Why is the warship heading for Manhattan? The Iacon relics landed on Earth eons ago, long before the city was built atop it. Agent Fowler! That's all that's been downloaded? Run for it! Come on! Here's our ride! The download of the Iacon database may have been incomplete, but we now possess four sets of coordinates decoded by the ship. Then we must act quickly, for Megatron will not hesitate to obtain the potential doomsday devices which lie at the site of each. If we are to have any hope of recovering the Iacon relics before the Decepticons do, we must divide our resources. But Optimus, when it comes to numbers, we are already at a grave disadvantage. Under the circumstances, Swiftness of action is paramount. This is one race that we absolutely cannot afford to lose. Dispatching multiple squadrons will enable us to pursue all four coordinates simultaneously. Lord Megatron, I have assembled the mining detail you requested for the first set of coordinates. Breakdown and I enjoyed previous success retrieving Iacon relics. In memory of my fallen comrade, I intend to do the same again. This is a mission, not one of your racing excursions. Stop your preening! Move quickly and operate with a surgeon's skill! Do you understand me, knockout? <laughs> Explicitly, Lord Megatron. Now, since the unfortunate loss of Breakdown has left you rather vulnerable, you will require appropriate support. <laughs> How very repellent. Here's a twist. It would appear that the Decepticons have retreated from Manhattan. They just up and left? It is more likely that Megatron has already set course for the second set of coordinates, having dispatched a unit to this relic's underground location. Without busting up a city block to get to it? They used subway tunnels. New York has a whole network of them running beneath the city. Since the human population no longer seems to be directly threatened, Maintaining our disguise will be necessary. R.C., Bumblebee, you are the best choices to navigate through such a densely populated area. Optimus, New York has more than 8 million people. The odds of being spotted by at least one of them are pretty high. Even if they are headed underground. Where are you going with this? You're gonna need a face man. Someone who can speak on their behalf. A human who can run interference if their cover gets blown. Well, I've actually been in subway stations. I grew up in a major metropolis, unlike Mr. I've never been outside Jasper, Nevada. I have been to Cybertron. Cybertron doesn't have subways. Does it? Agent Fowler's field experience makes him our best candidate. Bananafish! If he weren't still recovering from his encounter with the Decepticon warship... Which we survived without incident? Very well. Miko and Jack will accompany RC and Bumblebee. Yes! Initiate transport and triangulate coordinates of the other three relics. Of course it's no cyber. 
type it, Sean. All right, face. How do we get underground? Well, you can't just jump the turnstiles and hope no one notices. Check it out! Construction. A fact of life in the big city. Bumblebee, don't move! The third rail. It carries electricity to power the subway trains. One touch and zap! You're fried! You must have learned about that on TV or something. Could we please pick up the pace? The humidity down here is threatening to corrode my undercarriage. Must you hover? Are we getting any closer? Triangulating the coordinates is one thing, but figuring out how to reach them through this maze is another. Drilling. It's coming from this way. Miko! Miko, what is your... Hold it right there! Scrap! What are you kids doing down here? We're on a field trip with our school. But we get lost. Oh, really? I told him we should stay with our group. But Leonard here insisted we search for fossils. My bad. I want to go home. Can you help us, Mr... Vogel. But you can call me Vogel. So, ever ride a sweeper train? Face. And this section was added in the 30s as part of a public works project. Fascinating. <sighs> but these old tunnels have a dark side, too. Strange creatures have been said to lurk down here. Giant snakes, albino alligators, even mole men. Well, but those are just people who live down here because they have no place else to go, right? That's what the media wants you to believe. But I say, they're from outer space. I'm telling you, Area 51's got nothing on this place. The aliens are down here, building up their army, plotting to use us humans as slave labor. Aliens, huh? <laughs> if he only knew. I'm picking up a locator beacon. The cons have unearthed the relic. Features perfect for a painful little procedure I call the nip and tuck. Dodge and kick. Huh. Shot. 
lock and drop. Uh, this way. How do you know? Miko, let's think this through. Why? Because you think I don't know what I'm doing? I'm Jack. Optimus picked me to go to Cybertron, so I must know everything. Okay, Miko, seriously? If that's what's bugging you, then why didn't you say something before? I've been holding it in. Since when do you hold anything in? Look, it's not like you don't contribute. Just yesterday, you helped take down a psychotic Decepticon warship. This isn't a competition. I... Lost, huh? You two are gonna have to explain yourselves to the New York Transit Authority. I think we should tell him the truth. Right. The truth is... We lost our dog. You're wasting your breath. The real truth. We are trying to prevent aliens from digging up a powerful ancient relic so they can't use it to destroy our planet. I swore I heard something weird and high-pitched earlier today. Something that wasn't the crew drilling over on track five. Shall we see precisely what you are and what you do? And what better way to learn your power than to conduct an on-site experiment? Mole men! Metal ones! Actually, Decepticons. And they have RC and Bumblebee. Vogel, this thing have another gear? Absolutely. freaking lootly Hey, watch the finish! Must have been torched. We can't stop. No big deal. These tracks go round for miles, right, Vogel? Not this one. This track dead ends? As in crash and burn? I'm really starting to hate trains! <laughs> What was that? Welcome to Earth! Vogel, no! She's one of the good guys! RC, the brakes are shot! Is there any kind of emergency override? No, ma'am, but there is a switch track control up ahead. If you could just adjust the pull rod. It, you'll know it when you see it. It'll reroute us to another line. Did she just turn into a motorcycle? Uh -oh. And that would be trouble. Well, well, look who got his treads back.
Yes! All right. Wait! <laughs> Shock and drop. Besides slamming into a wall, I mean. Not get mashed. Phase shifter. Handy when you need to pass through solid objects. Or vice versa. No. No! You scratch my face, I scratch yours. He knows. Do we have to take him with us? To the mothership? I think I have a workaround. That's right, soldier. Dump that rock and come on home. Fowler. Miko, what is it? What in the Sam Hill? I'm in the middle of a crisis here and you want me to... Uh... Put him on the line. Mr. Vogel, this is Special Agent William Fowler of the United States government. You are here by deputized as an honorary agent for the Department of, um, Interstellar Relations. Thank you, sir. So, you folks will be in touch? Absolutely. freaking uh, uh But until then, we need to maintain complete radio silence. It's been an honor. Good call, face. Hmm. I understand big city people who spend way too much time below ground. One relic down, three to go. Let's hope the others are having similar results. <laughs> Robots who turn into vehicles. Hmm.